Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video. Today we will be simulating how to use a PIR sensor to control a light bulb as part of our home automation simulation using Arduino and Proteus Circuit Wizard. When motion is sensed, our display show shows something and the light bulb should come on. Otherwise, the light bulb will be turned off and the LCD will display a message at each interval what is happening. Also, we have attached a serial print so that the admin can see what is going on. So without wasting much time, let us begin. If you like this video, why not like and subscribe to our channel it will help in encouraging us to many video like this in the future. For the video tutorial, we are using Pratus 8.3. You can find the files and links for download in the description link below. Head over to your Proteus and open the circuit IDE. When you do this, you have to create a new project file. This is very simple to do. Just click on it as and follow the next steps as shown in this video. Just proceed by clicking on next until you get to the schematic capture. Once we are in the schematic capture sheet, to begin, we select the component symbol and click on pick component button. We can search for any component's name that we want to add. But for this simulation we need only a few. We added the Arduino dev board, the PIR sensor, the LCD module, select this and select the LCD module, the logic toggle and the display for serial printing. You can find the Proteus library files for this in the description link below. We have to connect the components. We begin with the LCD module, this is connected using the 4 bits wire method. The VDD pin is connected to the power component and the ground pin is connected to the ground power rail. Ensure the per sensor gets VCC pin is connected to the power as shown here and all ground pins are connected to the ground. Connect the rest of the pins using the 4 data type connection mode. PLSC the source code and link below. Better and concise explanation of this connection is given in the blog post.
this is done, the next is how to connect the relay so that we can use the DC power to control the AC power of the lamp. Please see the link in the description on how to add a relay in the common emitter follower configuration to turn on the light bulb. Now that our connections are done, the next thing to do is to write the Arduino code to run the simulation on Proteus. Head over to the location of your Arduino IDE, open it up and go to the link below in the description to copy the source code. Pass this sketch into your IDE. The sketch tries to simulate the working of the PIR sensor when it senses motion which is the toggling of the logic toggle switch. So we write an Arduino sketch that senses this change, and the output pin of the PIR is connected to the digital pin 8 of the Arduino UNO board. When the UNO board senses this high, it will make the LCD display a test and the transistor will be based making the relay connected to it to be energized, and switch the alternating current that will turn out the AC bulb. In the absence of this motion, which means no toggle input from the logic toggle switch, the transistor isn't based and the relay isn't energized hence the light bulb isn't turned on and it remains turned off. Once the programming is done, the next thing to do is to enable complier option in the Arduino IDE so that we can get the hex file that will run the Proteus simulation. Click on File, then click on Preference, click the Compiler checkbox and save this. Go to the console and copy the address to your hex code. This address is what will be pasted into the Arduino Uno on the Proteus to be used during simulation. Go back to the Proteus diagram and paste this link the in the program file box as shown here. After this, click OK and go on the lower left hand side of the schematic view and click run simulation button. If you run into any error, visit the blog post to solve it. And when we toggle the logic toggle, the input is 1, we can see the LCD print changes and the relay switches and the lamp is turned on. And when the logic input is 0, the light is turned off. As displayed on both the LCD and the serial print. And that would be all for us in this tutorial. Any questions, leave a comment. See you on the next one. Thank you.